Hey, Jeff Cheese Flipper here. So, recently in a video, I said I was going to go around and I was going to show you some of my unlisted inventory. Now, you're all familiar, probably, if you watch my videos, with this row. This is listed inventory. We like listed inventory. Listed inventory is good. But I have a couple other rows that way that aren't listed. There's a lot more over there than there is over here. Do you guys want to see what I have for un for listed unlisted inventory? Come on, let me show you. This is the first aisle that is almost in completely unlisted inventory. Gotta excuse the mess because my little man has been obsessed recently with playing with my like my bubble wrap, my air pillows, and everything else, and also pulling stuff off the shelf. So he's made quite the mess. But I mean, I got tons of stuff over here. I mean, I got clothing the list. I've got ballast, lighting ballast. I've got electronics, books, cassette tapes, records that I'm not keeping, more books, more books, plush, ephemera. It just goes on and on and on. Random stuff all over here. Boxes I don't even know what's in them. Vintage radios, 8-track players, uh, kids' arts and crafts stuff, more books. And most of these books here are probably from like the, they all predate ISBN numbers. Most of these are from like the 50s or later. Bunch of good books in there. I've got some DVDs up here I need to go through. Like a yard light. More books. More books. I don't even know what's in there. What's in there? It looks like, oh, got some phones, got some lighting ballast, got boxes here. I don't know what's in there. Um, these here are technically listed. These boxes right here. These are a bulk buy. I should probably move them somewhere else so they're not mixed with my unlisted stuff. I got Sony uh, weather radios. Got more big auto parts. We've got some fire alarm stuff down here. Got one of these guys in here. I've got HO tracks, old license plates. This entire thing here. Whoa, it's falling down. <laughs> All right, let's fix this real quick. All right, this entire thing is higher end jeans. More random stuff. I got all these DVD Blu-ray players and these uh, VHS players. This one here is actually really freaking cool. I think it's probably worth a lot of money. It's a two-headed VHS. And that thing is cool. And I should have the remotes for all these. Hopefully I can still find the remotes. I mean, more up here. I got whatever that guy is. I got dinosaur. Pooh Bear. That's Pooh Bear's butt. These are all full. Everything here is full. I got boxes on the floor. But that's not it. I got more. This is the third aisle. And this is all also unlisted. I mean, there's Big Old Rabbit. I got boxes. I got bins. A lot of these bins are full of higher-end clothing. I got, well, this is garbage, but vintage car radios. Tons of them. More auto parts. More clothing. Don't even know what's in these boxes here. Got some video games. Tons of boxes. Tons of stuff. All over. Tools. I, that box right there is actually full of all full of vintage tools. Got everything back in the wall. Bins and bins and bins. I got all those DVDs that aren't listed. Tons of stuff down here. Random smattering of stuff on this one. But that's not even it. I got all this stuff here on the floor. Well... Here, that's listed. All this stuff here isn't listed. I got Puma there. I got this expensive drum set. Now, I probably won't be able to sell this one because my little man loves it, and he comes and plays with it all the time. I got Dyson vacuum back there. Got some other high-end vacuums back there. I got a couple of, um, uh, what's that really fancy one? Kirby's. I got Kirby's back there. This whole shelving unit here is completely full of the cry-cut machines. Unlisted. Those are all need to be listed. So I got a lot to list. You want to know what the worst thing is? I don't even think that's all of my unlisted inventory. I'm pretty sure if I would go through our other garage, our basement, other areas of storage, I'd be finding bo more boxes. Boxes and boxes and boxes of unlisted inventory. So you may be asking yourself, what the heck? How did it get this bad? Well, 
during like especially like the like when the COVID stuff really hit and the lockdowns, a lot of places were just liquidating massive amounts of stuff. And I was able to pick up for pennies on the dollar, big, huge lots. That's what some of my earlier videos in this channel were. I mean, pick up those lots. And I didn't have time to process them because my job, we were slammed. We were doing mandatory overtime 20 to 40 hours per week of mandatory overtime for close to a year. Just nonstop going. So my reselling kind of had to take a back seat. But I couldn't pass up those great deals. I had the capital available to do it. And I started putting them in those storage units. If you don't know, I used to have two storage units. They're, what, 10 by... 10 by 20s or no 10 by 10 by 20s or 10 by 30s or something like that they're cost me 150 bucks or more per month and i had two of them before we got this place and i just kept putting them there like oh i'll get to them i'll get to them the problem was out of sight out of mind and i didn't really have a full concept in my head of how much inventory was piling up just kept on piling up piling up i kept them buying and sticking in there I was still listing, I was still selling, I was still doing pretty good. But man, the inventory was coming in. And my goal here, the reason why I'm sharing this with you, part of it is accountability on my part. Because I want to get that listed. I have a plan. My plan is to be 100% listed in all of that inventory by the end of this year, by the end of 2023. So hopefully we'll make another video at the end of the year. We'll have an update of how much we have listed. My goal is... You know, the last one, there was in the back wall, those two shelves. My goal is to get to the point where that is the only area I have unlisted inventory. Just those two. Probably the one on the right will be stuff that's basically being held because it's out of season. So especially with Amazon, with their the warehouses, how they want you to have fast-moving stuff. You don't want to send seasonal items in there, you know, when they're not in season. Because they you get long-term storage fees, all that. Totally different video for that. I'll make one eventually. But I want to get all this stuff listed. And I'm going to start working on it. Something I've been thinking about doing is having live stream listing parties. Or maybe we'll go on, on like a live stream and maybe you guys can come in too. Maybe we'll chat, get things listed, you know, work on our businesses together. I think that would be a lot of fun. What do you guys think? Think that'd be fun? I think that'd be fun. Now, generally, when I'm out here, is late at night. So if you're not a night owl, maybe that one won't be for you. But if you're like me, you you stay up late, then I think we might have some time, especially for us night night shift people. Like right now, I think it's like 3.30 a.m. And I'm wide awake. So if you're like me, you know, I'm probably not doing this late, but, you know, pretty late. Like I'm, I don't do a.m. unless I'm still up like I am now. So anyways, I am rambling. So I got to get all this unlisted. How much unlisted inventory do you guys have? Because honestly, right now, I think if I would do the math. Oh, I'm getting a weird light there. If I would do the math, I would probably guess I have only about 30 to 40% of my, li my inventory listed. The rest of it is unlisted inventory. That's not good. So we're going to get this listed by the end of the year. Now, I'm not stopping sourcing. No. I know. I probably should, but here's the thing. I keep finding great deals. And right now I have no, well, my overhead is fixed. It's just what, you know, we're paying for the house because this is at my house, which is cool. I don't have storage units or anything like that. So as long as I got room and I find quality inventory, I will be a little bit more picky. That is one thing about it. I may be a little more picky in what I pick up because like grass sale season, that's coming up. Like tomorrow is the first day of spring as I'm recording this. So we're going to start seeing garage sales here shortly. And that that's where you get some of your, your best, you know, margins on. It's just those garage sale buys. You buy something for a buck, you sell for 50. It can be crazy. I can't pass it up. Now, because of my job, I can't always go to garage sales, but we're going to still hit some. I'm mainly going to be sourcing for Amazon FBM. Or, no, I said that wrong. For Amazon FBA is where I sent to Amazon, they deal with it. Because I can, in the same time, I can make like 15, 20 eBay listings. I can get two to 300 units out to Amazon. Because it's that much simpler. It's boop the thing, print the sticker, put the sticker on the item, throw it in a box, ship it off. That's it. It is so simple. 
or eBay, you got to find one, make the listing. The listing takes forever. And on Amazon, the listings are right there. You say, yep, I got one of those. It may be a condition on if it's used. Take the photos, you upload. eBay takes so freaking long compared to Amazon. It's not even funny. But some things are better on eBay. Some things are better on Amazon. So we're going to start getting this stuff listed. My goal is to be at least, I'm going to say 90% listed by the end of 2023. Now, if you're still here, and I'm not making any updates around the end of the year or beginning of 2024, you better hold me accountable. Say, hey, dude, how much you have listed? And hopefully you guys can get a list of what you can call yourself list, all your unlisted inventory. I can't speak today. All your unlisted inventory up with me. So how big is your death pile? How big is it? Be honest. Do you even know? Because honestly, before I moved stuff into here, I didn't realize how big this pile of unlisted inventory has been. And I've been cracking at it recently. So how much you got? Do you need a little listing party? I think we're going to start doing listing parties. Oh, that's all I got today. Isn't that crazy how much you got? So you guys got to keep on listing because you can't sell it if it's not listed. Have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.